lo tengo en la Put in your reel. And your reel. Mystery is going to Twitter right after this. You're gone. <laughs> Alright, so we are starting off on the battlefield, which is an interesting starter. Oh, uh, you're gone. Oh, my, oh, oh, he saved his jump. Never mind, I'm a liar. <laughs> he learned. <laughs> After Syrup, I believe, I, I think he definitely learned some adaptations just as a precaution against um, Kwando, because there's, there's absolutely no way he wasn't watching their set earlier. Right, and right. finding out what can I do against this person in the case I do get my run back with them, because I did lose 3 1, Syrup got a 3 0. What was the difference here? And my god, there it is! That was crazy. The re grab getting punished by the Steve grab with the extra range too is so slick. I love that so much. <laughs> I'm such a fan. Good stuff to D Dog. Crazy opening Ooh. in terms of momentum. And just, I don't know, like, Mystery has been having such a. Okay, I'll, I'll wait, I'll, I'll wait. I was gonna say, Mystery has been having a hard time bringing it back in certain situations today, but, like, that was phenomenal. I feel like there's been a couple of these moments where. Like players are just wanting to get out and end up <laughs> end up dropping stocks way sooner than they should. That was Dancing Blade at sub 100, and D Dog said, "I'm gone." Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm restarting. Catch me Fresh on the next stock. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll be, we'll be right back. Don't worry. And you're on the top platform. You get hit by that magma block up smash. Right, you then. are absolutely losing that second stock as fast as Kondo lost his first. Now, oh, oh, chill out. All right, we're chilling. We're chilling. My bad. Yeah, when you said, like, we'll be right back. What? I, yeah. I just thought the, like, uh, be back soon music starting right now. Bow, smash. Bow, bow. Yeah. <laughs> be right back. Because Kondo also just lost his stock, right. and they're well, now right. right back. We're off our commercial break. We have one stock left. Um, but still up to three games. Really excited to see as uh, Kondo is bringing it back, right back to even again someone like Mr. E, who, again, Ooh. took it very dominantly in their set together. Yeah, it, ever, it seemed like in the first set, E was just slowly able to, to solve the puzzle and figure it out, but d Dog's showing off some extra bit of technology here. Good angle from E in order to destroy the blocks before grabbing the ledge. Have to always make sure that you're hitting these proper angles and a nice. amazing swat of the TNT. Okay, it almost worked. Uh, yeah, you know <laughs> what? You know, like, when I saw the charge, I was like, I don't know, but... That was a good one, actually. I like that smash attack. Yeah. So did I. You see the patience from D Dog there. I mean, he kind of dashed back a little bit and see where is Mr. E going to land because nine out of ten, he's hit him with that up smash over and over. Probably the most consistent smash attack he's hit him with throughout their now two sets together. And as we've seen, up where do you you want platforms for a reason? You want to jump on them, but you we know, me no jump on platform because up smash. Yeah, D Dog's reaction based game plan has been good sense number set like mm -hmm. as i mentioned in the number set d dog's playing very grounded very close to the chest and then in this uh first game twice over just reacting to the drift reacting to the situation and pulling the trigger on the up smash to stuff out of lucina trying to find it and all or nothing down air it's like that's some really solid play from d dog in order just to play to some fundamental aspects of the game anti-air yep Right, interesting recovery right there, but we're seeing a counter pick come out from the set that they had earlier, which is the Smash Hill. It worked wonderfully for Mr. E, just kind of holding down that center stage, really working around any of the approaches that D-Dog was trying to put together. We'll see if that's kind of how it works out this time, but it doesn't look like it's exactly the same. I, In my mind, in my heart, this stage does wonders for Steve because of that singular platform where Lucina wants to gravitate herself towards. And just like that, another big punish of the up smash, another forward smash coming through again. And a beautiful counter that takes not one, Brother. but both lies. Yeah, no way. That's very dumb. So, right, he gets the counter on the hitbox where Steve's on the anvil. Then. The anvil without Steve, sans Steve, if you will, is a different hitbox, which then kills Mr. E. So it's just like really rocking a hard place, if you will. Good <laughs> stuff still, considering the disadvantage. But sans Steve, you like that, one? Yeah, that was nice. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, give it, I'll give it up. <laughs> but you're, I mean, you hit the nail on the head. Like there, Steve's activate and reactivate hitbox timings are plentiful and hard to determine. So. 
just Anvil having these uh, Anvil and Minecart and all of these other tools have been just able to turn on and off at a dime on top of being fast is right. so hard to work around, which is why more often than not you see players play very safe against Steve, and I like that he is still willing to take risks. Yeah, yeah, like right there, that was yeah. a good risk to take. Ends up tracing Steve with the neutral air, taking that stock, really good stuff. That was just really well, uh, a well placed uh, moves that we have seen on that ledge coming in from Mr. E, and now a complete reversal. I mean, I, I did not peep the set where they did go smash for the first time, but I clearly see the vision here. And even though D Dog just, did just take off that second stock coming in from Mr. E, this last stock is imperative into Mr. E's reversal here to get the three one again. But D Dog getting this combo start is very imperative here. Gaining four nine percent right off the bat, interrupting the mining and I'm sorry the. Crafting. So now we're still stuck on those wood tools, and I think we actually did get off those iron tools. We absolutely did. So now, Mystery is gonna be suffering the, those consequences just for being a tiny bit too late on that pickup. Oh! That was a small, tiny error on Mr. E's part, missing the Shield Breaker, which normally Shield Breaker plus Dolphin Slash will knock the TNT away and explode it. But if you see, he was just a little short on the Shield Breaker, and the Dolphin Slash did hit, which just blew up the TNT right on the ledge is exactly what Mr. E didn't want. Yeah, it looked like he angled up the shield breaker just like a hair, yeah. hair too high. Yeah, we met close to him. Can you chill out? He got to breathe. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> the camera's yeah, like saying, going closer yeah. and closer. I'm like, I feel, I'm I, sorry. I want to see the whites. It doesn't eyes. matter how hot, how many hands that juice has. I'm going to make some expert <laughs> fucking uh, <laughs> camera <laughs> decisions. We need, <laughs> we need some good shots for the top eight because we're not putting the characters on. <laughs> No, we need, we, we are need not, some. We're absolute, yes. Shout out to the built-in photography, Lamont. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the Netflix ass camera, I see it. Oh, we see it, don't worry. Take it away. Absolutely, we're gonna be seeing a very solid start coming Ooh, in from nice. not only Mr. E, but also d Dog as a response to Mr. E, uh, putting on 90% on Steve here. And now the four oh. air gonna be coming through, just narrowly avoiding that block placement, allowing Mr. E to get back to the stage and have a reversal situation and breaking the crafting table as a complete, just say, no, you cannot have this anymore. Ooh, okay, not quick enough to punish that re-crafting table. Re I don't know if you crafted the crafting table. Uh, oh only and only if your opponent destroys it, it comes out of no, your like material. Thematically, in the game? Oh, you like, have no, yeah, okay. it just yeah. Does that count? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's good to know. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Critical information. Yeah. <laughs> so this is 2-0 to D-Dog. What a reversal of fortune from their winner side set, which felt like it was the Mr. E show in terms of his applied counterplay. Right. That time, he, he just he just got the bomb rib. Like, D-Dog utilizing TNT more than I think any other I see, Steve I see play. It's been so good too. Like we saw earlier in the day against Kazuya, it just cuts off like all of the approach. Like what's Kazuya yeah. do? Jump, that's miserable. <laughs> you know? It gives you time to mine for like over five to 10 seconds of the opponent thinking like, what the heck am I gonna do against this? And uh, being, oh, that's oh, like a, wow. as per my last email, ask Edgeguard, <laughs> so you're not gonna go low and if you land on the boxes, <laughs> you're dead. <laughs> It reminded yeah. me of like a silver platter. Like, D oh, you yeah. landed right here just for me. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, you know, D Dog is making some business decisions right <laughs> again. <here>. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I was ready. I was ready. I was also ready for it to happen again. But no, <laughs> Mr. E making a slight adaptation there on the on using the counter instead of jumping right onto that platform. Able to get that second stock from the uh, D Dog, but D Dog as a response now has diamond tools, and you're at 109. percent You might die like right now. I'm so sorry. Where you just the, died. Where were the sparks? There was no, no way. No, no, no. <laughs> the I'm not even close. Usually the, the sparks are like, hey, you could die. You're like nah, lucky dead. You could die it, baby. That's but. some Sonic Adventure 2 type stuff. Good game, by the way. Yeah, um, great game. <laughs> GGs. Um, you, on one frame, you're on one side of the kill plane, and on yeah. the next frame, you're just on the other <laughs> side. Dead, game like. can't keep up. <laughs> the next point, frame, so fast, made him the eat game was ready. Like, you know, the guy who's, I assume, in the game, who's like hit the button and yeah. he says game, he was, he was just like, game! <laughs> Mama! <laughs> Like he was asleep at the wheel. Like oh, yeah. so fast. There is no red you know? sparks. Yeah, because yeah, usually red sparks are like, if you see the red sparks like that, it means <laughs> like... How fast does he go? Look! He, <laughs> the model disappears! He would have outran the truck on the first level. Oh, Sonic yeah. Adventure 2. Look. Okay, frame one. All right, all right. Let's get in. All right, that's, this, a, that's a stun. That's fine. Yeah. Is there maybe a stage spike? Is that like... No, he's just Oh, gone. oh! We got one, boom, boom, two, boom. three, four. <laughs> 
<laughs> Six frames. I'll make you eat those words. He doesn't even get the chance. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'll make you eat those words. <laughs> While choking. Like, uh, yeah. <laughs> Great and game. That was Loser's Finals. That was Loser's Finals.